Hey kids, I am back with our game number two. Now, I forgot to tell you that what, what you can also do guess the move, right? So when we study this first game, um, you can you can go to guess the move and try uh, to see if you can uh, remember all those moves, right? It's a nice practice, you know, you can try that. Now, this second game, it's, um, again, it's the same idea uh, with a, with the f5 with the stone wall it's a different game and you will see the the white queen got trapped so let's see uh, let's see a little bit more so that we get uh, better understanding of this this opening right again everything started with the slav defense right uh, and now after e3 black plays a move e6 of course you can play bishop bishop f5 but let's see this idea of playing uh, playing uh, f5 one more time bishop d6 this is how it started 93 and f5 so we we have a kind of similar position to to the one that uh, we studied in the first game right bishop to d2 and black plays knight to d7 pawn takes on d5 and pawn takes with the e of course here you want to capture with the e pawn right because uh because this is a very nice pawn structure right and uh, if you capture with the e pawn then this bishop is not that, that that bad maybe this bishop will get into the game right uh but if the pawn is on e6 then this bishop on c8 has a lot of problems so i i guess that this is a very natural logical move capturing on d5 bishop goes to d3 and look at this right now look what um what black is doing black is playing a move knight h6 right the reason that black is playing this move is because uh he wants to put this knight on d7 to f6 right so you see when you think about deploying your chess pieces you have to think about all of them so this move knight h6 is is a part of the strategy that black is uh doing here right because he's trying to to organize all his pieces g3 hmm does that move um, I, I mean we will have to, to to check it out doesn't look good to me right playing a g3 what's the point of this move doesn't make that much sense um i think it was better to make a castling or, or play any other move but not g3 it's a waste of time queen e7 all right now this queen e7 is a quite solid nice move right developing the queen why not right queen e2 and knight f6 look how nice development is this for black side and now knight can jump to e4 right knight g5 and knight e4 nice right black is playing uh, this move knight e4 now again why did i choose this those games for you is because i i like this i think i think there is a good chance if you play like this that that you may win the games um not many kids will be able to handle this position with a wide side right so i really highly suggest you check this out right so queen h5 check and uh, look at this black plays g6 blocks the check white takes the knight and black takes the knight so there's just the trade of the knights but what's going to happen is like <laughs> this is really you know it's an amazing this queen is gonna get trapped so white lost the queen in this game now look how white lost the queen bishop e2 pawn to f4 now this is um this is a very interesting move right because um um th this move is opening the bishop and you will see why why um the black play that move. it's opening the bishop but at the same time uh it doesn't allow the, the queen to go to back to to h4 so after this move right knight goes to f7 and queen is trapped it cannot retreat it cannot go back to h4 it cannot go to h3 so the queen is lost queen the only place for a queen is queen g7 and look at this now queen to d8 
and the next move is bishop f8 and the queen is trapped wow this is an amazing right how could the queen got trapped right so that's that's the end of the game there are no move, no moves here that can save white now let's go back and see what are the most important moves here so what do we have we have introduction to the slav defense right and then here white played e3 and e6 right look at us uh, knight f3 bishop d6 and then this move f5 one more time right we did this in the first game and now again so try to remember this setup right it's, it's it's a very interesting setup right i again the reason i like it because i know that the, the kids who are playing with a wide side they're not going to be able to handle this they have to be like really strong players to handle this kind of setup right so bishop d2 and uh look how black is now developing the pieces this this strategy of bringing the knights right taking with this pawn we talked about that and bringing the knight to to h6 cool right because you want to play knight f6 with the other knight and completely open open the game look at that setup very good setup right and now this bishop is not that bad bishop on c8 it's not so bad but look at this you have excellent outpost on e4 right your your 94 move is really powerful because the knight on e4 is, is it's such a great piece and if the white captures that knight of course you take with a f pawn and then you open the bishop and you open a, a file for a rook so after the castling the rook is going to start uh, attacking right so knight g5 and black just jump to e4 and here they made a trade but what happened is the i think this is also a bad move this move i uh, uh castling was a better move oh no i'm sorry castling cannot be done um because the knight of three check and then takes on d2 maybe castling to the to the queen side yeah that, that's probably better because uh, because this move bishop e2 i guess he wants to make a castling right and stop knight f3 but white lost too many moves right and f4 excellent move what a beautiful move right very nice and um uh, and here the queen trapped there's no move queen d8 and uh and the queen is uh trapped on f8 right so that's uh that's this game so another idea with f5 now if you really wanna if you wanna uh practice you know uh, you can you can try this guess the move see this is very cool because now you have to guess all the moves now on your computer it's not going to be like this right in your account you're not going to be able to see the moves what's going to happen is um you will get uh, the octopus here on the right side and then you can guess every move it's good to 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 practice your memory um uh, on my computer see the moves because because i entered those into our nyhs kids account right but in your account it's going to be different so that would be another step to practice this game you know go to guess the move and practice and you can do the same with a game number one right to memorize the moves and uh, and i think it, it's very helpful because then you really try to get the ideas right what to remember after in this this game i would remember this idea of uh of knight h6 right here i think this is this is uh this is the move to remember right knight h6 not not uh, knight f6 right? and then uh and then bringing uh, the other knight to f6 so that's that's what i would remember from this game this idea okay boys and girls um, i hope you enjoyed the game and uh, we'll see each other in the next one bye bye